All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Tuesday. Blessings to everybody in the name of Jesus, the Messiah, the God of Israel. I do pray everybody is super blessed on this day. Shout out to Memory Man and shout out to J-Boy Bullish holding it down with the wrench in the YouTube chat. As usual, guys, if we can get this stream up to 750 likes during the stream, we will absolutely be giving away 0.025 Bitcoin. Also, guys, follow me on Twitter at Jason underscore Casper, all lowercase. Make sure to retweet this stream. Let's see if we can get 750 people in here so we can get those likes so I could do the Bitcoin giveaway. We have a lot of things to talk about today, guys. A lot of juicy things to talk about. It's going to be one of those streams, guys. We're going to be wiling out. We're going to be wiling out on this stream. Shout out to Freedom Man. Shout out to Jonas Cute. Shout out to Vivian Young. Shout out to El Figuro. Shout out to Telly. And Osama007. What's going on, my man? Bitcoin Slut1 from Atlanta, Georgia. Tristan Earl, blessings to you. Shout out to um, Pastor Knack, 88. Chicken slap the like button. That's what I like to hear, bro. this absolutely beautiful and it is a beautiful tuesday morning it's kind of cloudy out guys it's a little bit cloudy but um you know it, it's still a nice day it's not too hot it's not too cold things are doing uh you know it, the spring is coming in guys what i like i like this time of year because the chickens get frisky and when the chickens get frisky it means there's gonna be baby chicks around and when there's baby chicks around well, that means there's going to be grown-up chicks around. And when there's grown-up chicks around, well, that means there's going to be lots of chickens drinking water. There's going to be lots of eggs. There's going to be lots of chicken to partake in, guys. Make sure to like the video. This is the Jason Casper like button index right here. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but this is a chart of the like button for this stream. And as you can see, it is in a major uptrend. It is, in fact, the most bullish asset that has ever existed in the history of mankind. Make sure to FOMO in now. As you can see, I usually don't give trade setups here, but 
we have a very, very high risk trade setup here where we only have to risk this much of our capital to eke out this tiny little gain. Okay, make sure to FOMO in, make sure to sell your house, sell your farm, sell everything you have to like this video. So what the heck is going on with Bitcoin right now, guys? Well, a few things, a few things. First of all, Bitcoin is simply ranging. It's been ranging for the past few days in this uh, sideways little area where we do have pretty much we've been respecting this area of resistance and we've been respecting this area of support very well for the past few days now. And right now, Bitcoin is getting a, a major, a major, well, I shouldn't say major. It's getting a rejection from the high. Now, why are we getting a rejection from that high? Well, first of all, let's talk about the bounce that we got yesterday. So yesterday, Bitcoin did come down to that Fibonacci golden pocket retracement level, a very important area. If you are looking to take trades in a sideways range on a lower time frame, this is the 12 minute, and you see price is coming in to make a lower low, taking out all these lows, but you see it's coming to a Fibonacci golden pocket, well, that could be a really nice setup for a bounce. And yesterday, we did give the setup for the bounce in the VIP Discord. We were looking for a bounce right off of that level, and um, we did, in fact, get the bounce from that level, guys. And, you know, I have to be honest. I have to be honest, I did not do the best getting into this trade, guys. I, I had some issues. I had some problems getting into this trade. But nonetheless, the bounce did happen. Shout out to everybody who took this trade successfully in the Discord. By the way, guys, if you do want to get into the VIP Discord, where we do give the juiciest trade setups, as well as the juiciest technical analysis updates every single day, not just me, but many people in here, giving the juicy levels that we are looking to take trades from, the juicy trade setups. So you can go to uh, patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. We have a community here, and in this community, we are all about helping each other get better at doing this. We have some really, really good traders, some really good technical analysts in here, and it's a great community. We keep it positive. We keep the vibes positive, y'all. And so after we got the bounce from the golden pocket, well, we smack right into some resistance. All right, we smack right into some resistance. What is this resistance, you may ask? This resistance actually happened to be a naked weekly point of control. We can see over here, if we come to uh, exo charts and we take a look at a weekly volume profile chart, that last week we had this level right here of about 47,190 being the, uh, well, 47,160 ish being the point of control for the entire week. And after that week candle closed, we never came back to touch that price. This was a naked point of control. And we've just rejected off of it just now. And uh, it's a pretty harsh rejection, guys. It's actually a pretty harsh rejection. In fact, if you had taken a long from here, I'm pretty sure that you would be liquidated. All right, you would be totally liquidated just like uh, this snowman right here. Just like that snowman. And so really, we're finding some support now at this high volume node. We did get a little bit of bounce from here, about a 0.5% bounce. Uh, but if we are unable to hold this level here, 46317, well, it's possible we will see even lower. So that's what's happening locally, guys, for Bitcoin. That is what is happening locally. And I want to kind of talk about what's happening macroly, right? Macroly, because the corn. The, the, the asset that we love, right? We love to grow it. We love it when it's non-GMO. Organic Bitcoin really is at a point of decision because as we take a zoom out and we look, okay, at the chart, we can see a few things. Number one, we did break a very important area of resistance, all right? What area of resistance is that? It is this high that we had right here. Okay, we had this very, very important high around forty four point five thousand dollars. And actually, we could even look at this more of a zone. We could look at this as a box because we had these lows up here and we had these highs down here. And we can see that Bitcoin has, in fact, broken the resistance and is now retesting as support. And so depending on what happens here in my view, will affect what happens to the Bitcoin price. And one of the reasons why this box is so important is because when we're looking at things on a higher time frame, things do not happen as fast as they happen on lower time frames. That's one of the reasons why 
I do enjoy swing trading, right? Because you have a lot of time. You have a lot of time to. Um, you have a lot of time. Uh, you have a lot of time, right? You have a lot of time. You have a lot of time to plan out your trades and get into the trades. But on this large time frame, if we we do not hold this box as support. This could be a giant fake out, right? A giant fake out. And the reason why it could be a giant fake out is because if we lose that box of support, we are going to then come back into this value area right here. Okay, this value area right here is basically, if we come down below here, then we're gonna, I, I believe we could have a, there's, there's a high probability that we come down much lower uh, potentially even back down to $39,000. And the reason for that is because just like how we were on our lower time frame, right? Th this is important for, for people who struggle finding good trade entries. What I'm about to say could help you out quite a bit. When we are looking at lower term time frames, right? And we're analyzing sideways markets, just like what we've been analyzing here, right? I want you to notice something. Every time we come above the value area high of a sideways range, not every time, but I would say most of the time, you are then going to come back inside of that value area and make your way back down to the lower area of that, um, of that volume profile. And just so everybody is aware of how volume profiles work, when we're analyzing price action, this is establishing a fair value for the asset where if the asset price comes above these shaded candles is considered overbought and there needs to be a correction so that the asset can now trade at a fair value again and on the contrary on the other side of that bitcoin if the price comes below that value area then this is considered oversold and there needs to be a correction so that the price can come back into the fair value area okay and so this is on the 12 minute time frame this is how we're able to get bounces from supports when we come to the oversold uh, and rejections off resistances when we get into the overbought. And the same is true on higher time frames, but we have we have much more time on our hands to to look for these things. So back on the four hour time frame, okay, and we zoom out, we can see that let's see is this the one i want no is this the one i want yes yes this is it guys we can see that potentially we just have a big um a long taking a long time for us to uh get in this overbought area and then fall back in and when we fall back in this is it's likely we come back down right it's likely we come back down now i personally am agnostic okay i am i am agnostic when it comes to what is going to happen with the bitcoin price but there are a few things I, that we do need to take into consideration the first thing that we really need to take into consideration is the fact that we are at massive resistance right now we are at key resistance why because if we take our fibonacci retracement tool from the all-time high and we take it to the low of this dumperoni okay it's dumperoni and cheese all right raw cheese raw cheese you got to be careful with the raw cheese because uh, according to the fda it can kill you also be careful with your chickens and poultry and animals guys animals are dirty we should never raise animals in a humane sustainable way no no you might get sick so make sure to only eat bugs and lab-grown meats everybody it's good for you all right, we are coming up to the 382 Fibonacci retracement right here. That is key resistance. Not only that, but if we analyze the volume that has traded from the summertime to our current place, we can see that we have a very massive high volume node right here. Okay, what this means is that potentially, right, this could be a major area of resistance giving us now a lower high in a much more massive downtrend this is just one scenario okay a massive high uh, a lower high in a massive downtrend so we have our all-time high we have our low and now potentially putting in a lower high for another move to the downside this is just potential potential when we take a look at the daily time frame here we can see that uh, the money flow is coming down and the uh, momentum waves are getting lower so 
this means obviously there there are two things that could happen price could go up or price could go down so our job as traders is to determine you know what is more probable and not only to determine what is more probable but to determine if price goes up what are the trades i would like to take and if price goes down what are the trades i would like to take see people always ask me jason what do you think what do you think the price is going to do and i always tell them the same thing it depends it depends okay it depends i i do not know what the price is going to do but what i can do is we can say all right the price might pump the price might dump if it does do one of those things then what is my plan of action going to be what is my plan of action all right i'm going to set my levels and then once price gets to there i'm going to determine if there's a trade to take or not Okay, now you got to be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to end up driving and trading at the same time, right? You don't want to end up driving and trading at the same time. You could totally get wrecked. And I'm not talking about, I am not talking about liquidation here, guys. I'm, I mean, literally your car, okay? Your car, your, your Jeep Grand Cherokee family, thank God it's not a minivan and you could still say it's a Jeep vehicle could get wrecked, okay? Then you might actually end up with a minivan. And we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that because it's scientifically proven that owning a minivan as a man over the age of 30 will give you a beer gut even if you don't drink beer, okay? And it will make you wear those awkwardly fitting Walmart jeans that rip after a month even if you don't buy those kinds of jeans. It's just scientifically proven, guys, and we don't want that. So here is kind of where my mind is at right now as far as the Bitcoin goes. I want to take a look at the four hour time frame over here. Okay. Now keep in mind everything we just said, right? Resistance, all these types of things. Let me make sure we're still alive here. Shout out to Oscar Lahosti, who loves my content. Hey man, I love your comment. Thank you so much for the super chat. Shout out to uh TK Movies in here. And shout out to Memory Man. And um Yeah, life is too short for mini fans. <laughs> That's so true, guys. Keep keep it keep it keep it a Jeep that looks like a minivan. So it just it's, it's better for the self esteem. It's better for the self esteem, <laughs> right? So, um, man, now 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 I'm all off topic here. Right? I'm all off topic. So let's let's take a look here. Now I, I want to play out some scenarios for us. Some things that I'm personally planning for. Now one of the things that I'm planning for is as I look at this daily time frame, I see some things that quite intrigue me, all right? We're looking at market cipher B, and we noticed that we just printed a big old red dot on the top above that 60 line. We can also see money flow is starting to get lower, but the VWAP is starting to cross up. What does this mean? This means there is the potential here for us to get a higher high, all right, and put in a a bearish divergence okay right where where we even see the money flow could still continue to get lower here like this and the momentum could get lower as the price makes a higher high and this is called a bearish divergence if this happens on the daily time frame like it happened over here all right notice the result it can be very bearish if it happens on the four hour time frame also can be very bearish now something else i see here and let me remove some of these uh, drawings. Something else I see is the fact that on the four hour time frame, the money flow is getting lower. Now, when we see the money flow getting lower and we also get a bearish divergence, that is actually a very powerful signal that the price is going to come down. So what I mean by that is when we see the four hour time frame, okay, giving us a lower momentum wave like this, while the money flow is also making lower highs like this, and we can draw clear trend lines from the high wave to that lower wave, and also on the money flow, we can draw a clear trend line of the money flow coming down, yet the price is making a higher high. This is a very powerful bearish signal. And there's something that we need to be aware of here, which is this. And by the way, if you wanna learn how to trade this way, you want to learn all these things I'm talking about, you can check out the trading course, jasoncaspertrading.com. There's a 25% discount. Oh my goodness, can you believe that discount in the description of the video? This course is juicier than a uh, 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 chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A, guys. Much juicier. This course will give you a clear point A to point B comprehensive trading system so you always have a plan. 
And this honestly is changing the way thousands of people approach the markets, guys. And it's nothing because it's not because I'm so special or anything like that. It's just because this is I've taken everything that I've gathered over the years and I put it into a very clear, orderly fashion so that you have a very clear roadmap and you can always have a plan when looking at the charts. You can check out the uh, the description, uh, the, the link, and all that. The good, uh, yeah, all that stuff, right? So. The reason why this intrigues me so much is because we, again, are at resistance. And because we're on a higher term time frame, sometimes resistance can take a little bit longer to give us the rejection, okay? To give us that rejection, it can take a little bit longer, okay? And so right above us, if we take a look at this um, volume profile chart on the monthly time frame, okay, right above us, we have this naked monthly point of control coming back to the month of November 2021. And so potentially, if we come up to that high volume node right here, we could, again, we could get that rejection. Okay, we could get that rejection. And again, I, I the reason why I'm good at taking shorts and identifying rejections is because of the fact that when I was in high school, I was unable to have a girlfriend. Even to this day, I am unable to get a girlfriend because whenever I try and talk to uh, females, okay, and I do apologize, by the way, for assuming the gender of these females, okay, I don't mean to do that, right, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to commit any microaggressions against you, okay, but the thing is, whenever I tried to talk to one, she would immediately reject me, all right, immediately. And, and, and the signs, the signs, what were the signs that she was going to reject me? The signs were always the same. Okay, so again, we have a naked monthly point of control right here. And the signs were the same, okay? Now, I have to be honest with you guys, okay? I'm going to get a little personal here. Jason Casper is going to get a little personal, okay? Now, when it comes to the opposite sex, all right, I, I am a butt guy, all right? I'm a butt guy. Okay, shout out to all my butt guys out there, right? And so, one of the first things I might notice is, you know, a, 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 a butt, right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I was in high school, every girl I liked had this condition, okay? It was called, um, it was called, uh, crook, crook, but, uh, <laughs> I forget what it was called, guys. It was called uh, UEBC syndrome, UEBC syndrome. And what that meant was um, all the females I was into, for some reason, they had uneven butt cheeks, okay? They had uneven butt cheeks, UEBC syndrome, where the left butt cheek was extremely plump and juicy, and the right butt cheek was not. It was very, very, very skinny, all right? The right butt cheek was very skinny. And so we can see that as we're coming to, to, these, to these highs here, Potentially right now, if, if we turn off market cipher B, we can actually see that we, we very well may get this pattern here where we have a left cheek that's nice and big, and then the, the right cheek is not so big. Now, you might tell yourself, Jason, you might be saying to yourself, Jason, well, these butt cheeks, they, you know, they're upside down. Well, here's the thing, right? It could be right side up or right side down. As long as the big, the left cheek is very large and the right cheek is not so large. Okay, the right cheek has to be skinny and, and small. And, and like that skinny old waitress at the diner. You know who I'm talking about, right? The one with the Brooklyn accent who smokes too many cigarettes, right? If anyone's familiar with this channel, y'all know about her. Her name's Dolores. All right, she's a waitress at the diner. Hey, Dolores, get over here. This guy needs another cup of coffee, all right? He needs another cup of coffee. Here's the thing, right? When you see the uneven cheeks, you can see here market cipher B is giving us this first big old cheek here, and it's giving us this second cheek over here, and we can clearly see the price action coming down and getting a bounce off of here. That's where the money is. That's where the money is when you see the uneven butt cheeks. And here's the thing you didn't know about Dolores, our waitress over here. She's a gymnast, so you're going to see her hanging upside down from trapezes a lot. So the same thing works, wor works from from the top right you see the butt cheeks getting big and then smaller and the price is getting higher all right it could lead to a nice uh it could lead to a nice rejection over here right and so potentially we, we do need to be aware of this on the four hour time frame okay and this is one of the potential things that i'm looking at here because not only could we see this on the four hour time frame we could see this on the daily time frame 
Okay, now here's the thing. There's also bullish scenarios that could happen here because we do need to look at this from another bullish perspective. Now, again, what we're doing here is we're just having perspectives, right? We're having plans. I don't want to be caught off guard, right? I don't want to be caught off guard. I don't want to get liquidated, right? You know what I'm saying? And so because of that, I am saying, okay, if, if we get another move to the upside, I'm going to be looking out for a potential short, right? I'm going to be looking for Dolores hanging upside down at the diner. The guy drinking another cup of coffee. She's going out to smoke another cigarette. I'll be right back in. Get this guy another cup of coffee, right? I'm going out to smoke a cigarette, right? That's what I'm looking for. But there's also bullish scenarios, right? It, it very well may be possible that we come up to this level, right? And we don't get our butt cheeks, right? We, we might just get... Whew, we might just get, um, you know, we might be cured of our UEBC-itis or syndrome, okay? And um, by the way, guys, this, this live stream is sponsored by Pfizer. Um, <clears throat> and Pfizer actually just released a new drug that cures uneven butt cheek syndrome. All right, you can check it out. Link in the description, okay? Now, what, where was I going with this? What was I, oh, by the way, if you want to learn how to how to read and understand exo charts, order flow, market profile, TPO charts, you can check out the course that me and Boyan uh, did together. There's a link in the description. Uh, some pretty good info in there. But so again, we we are at a crucial area right now, and if we go back to a higher term time frame, the the daily. All right, we can go to the daily here, and we could zoom out and. Um, you know, actually, I'm just going to turn on my VPVR, okay? My 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 uh, virtual private range, uh, visible range, visible range, okay? Um, here we go, visible range. And look at this, guys. Look at this. So literally everything we see on our screen right now, going all the way back to like November 2020, this is literally the highest volume node that is traded right here at 47 350 can you see how massive this high volume node is if we are able to claim this okay then it's very probable that we will make our way up to the next high volume node around 57 58 thousand dollars so <clears throat> yes i'm looking for a short but also i would even be looking for a long if we can come above this with a clear retest, flipping that what used to be resistance into support, <clears throat> right? Because that is how support and resistance works. For example, we can see right here, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove some of these levels, okay? I'm gonna remove some of these levels. We can see, I'm gonna remove some of these levels here, okay? I'm gonna remove some of these levels, okay? Um, uh, hang on, let me remove some of these levels. How about, you know what? I made a mistake, guys. I removed the wrong level. I'm going to turn off the VPVR indicator momentarily. All right, so I've turned it off. Here's the thing. When we see a level acting as support... And then we lose that support. When we come back to that level, it should act as resistance. And when we see a level acting as resistance, when we claim that level, we can then look for that acting as support. Look at how we have this happen. This is called a support resistance flip, right? It's like living in a house. It's like living in a house, right? We've got multiple stories in the house. That's how we can look at this, where this right here is could be a ceiling, right? It could be a ceiling or... If you're on the second story of the house, it could be a floor, right? That's how we have to look at it. If you are in a house, all right, and you have the chimney on top, and uh, you got the front door right here, all right? No, let's not even draw the front door, right? We have x-ray vision. We're inside the house. we got a little guy right here. He's got his arms, right? And he's got his head up here. Okay. If he is going to now... Uh, try and jump up. He's going to hit his head on the ceiling and go, Poo! ah, and fall back down, right? That's what's happening right here. <clears throat> That's what's happening right here, right? He's jumping up. Our little guy is in the house. He he jumps up like this. Let's take him. Poo! Hits his head. Ah, Poo! hits his head. Okay, now this third time, he takes the stairs. Now he's on the second floor. 
And look what happens when he jumps up on the second floor. Zoom, boom, he hits the floor and finds support. Right? That's how the Bitcoin price action is. So the reason I go through all this and the reason why I am um, blessing everybody with my um, out-of-this-world artistic capabilities is because of the fact that when we turn our VPVR back on and we're looking at this highest volume node, well, now we can see, right? Hang on, let me zoom out here. There we go. Now we can see that this highest volume node right here, I mean, if we take the stairs above this and now we retest that as our support, well, then now that this is now going to be the floor instead of the ceiling. And so potentially we could get into a nice trade here simply by uh, looking for a setup, right? So let's say, for example, we get another pump up and we don't really get the bearish divergences, right? Dolores, she's not going out for a coffee break, right? She's not. Her cheeks are even. She's been cured. She went to Pfizer. They fixed everything, okay? They fixed everything. And so now, like, you know, we come back down and let's say, just as an example, that we get a move to the upside, all right, and then we uh, just so happen to notice now that there's a golden pocket, a juicy golden pocket right here at what used to be resistance, right? We see some confluence or even another fib retracement level, like could even be, you know, uh, let's say, let's say it's a 0.5 fib. Okay, we'll, we'll use the 0.5 for example. Okay, then we can say, all right, if we come back down for a retest now, I'm going to go ahead and try and long this uh, higher low, right? Because we're now we're clearly in bullish market structure, right? There's no denying that we got the low and the high and the higher low and the higher high and maybe a higher low and a higher high. And so we'll say, okay, we're in an uptrend. Let's try and get in at this higher low. And this higher low, not only is it a higher low, but it also happens to be a ceiling to floor flip, an SR flip, right? So those are kind of like the two scenarios I'm, I'm looking for if price gets higher. And so what I'm doing is, and this is this is the key to being a successful trader in my view. And again, I, I, you know, this is not financial advice, guys. And I am not even a financial advisor. I am simply just uh, a, a guy in the basement. Uh, <laughs> what do I know about anything? I only am a paper trader. I only trade fake money. And I only recommend other people also only trade fake money. Okay, because the goal of life is to avoid all risk, all risk. Okay, that's why I don't brush my teeth, because there's a chance that I could accidentally shove the toothbrush down my throat and choke to death on it, right? So I don't brush my teeth. I don't take a shower because I could slip on the floor and fall and crack open my skull, okay? And there's a chance that could happen. I don't drive, okay? I especially don't drive because I am known to trade and drive. You know what I'm saying, guys? Drive down the road, got the family in the car, and what? Can, what I can't even focus on the road, guys. Uh, you could tell my eyes are clearly not even looking at the road. Right now, I'm looking at the charts because I see that we're coming up to the naked weekly point of control and getting a rejection, <clears throat> pulling out my phone, texting and driving, trading and driving. The cops are on the side of the road looking at me. I don't care. Get a ticket. I don't care. Why don't I care? Because I could pay off the ticket with this trade. Just kidding. I can't because it's fake and it's paper money. And guys, this is not financial advice. Is the whole point of that. Okay, is the whole point of that. So we have we have two scenarios if price comes up higher. Now you might be saying to yourself, now Jason, my friend, my friend Jason, Casper, you Casper, you. Looks like we already are rejecting off this resistance. And we're just putting now, you know, lower, lower highs. Well, well what if we come down from here? What if this is just a, a reversal pattern, right? Well, that's also a possibility. So we have to we have to have a plan for if we dump, right? We have to have a plan for if we dump. And what's so great about that is, you know, we can use previous price action to determine key levels for future price action. Now, people say, Jason, technical analysis doesn't exist, they say. I get people in the comments, oh, you think you can use past data to predict the future? Well, not really. We're not predicting the future. But what we can do is we can say these are areas where it's very probable that price will find a support or a resistance. And then we can look at the tools we have, such as market cipher, such as looking at order flow charts to see what is happening here, right, as we come to, to key areas of support and resistance to determine if price is going to get a reversal there. So if we do come back down, well, then. There's, there's two major areas that I, I'm really looking at. And the first one would be this, right? The first one would be this major point of control right here. 
this is a pretty juicy level because not only is it a high volume node, but also if we take the fib from the low to the high, we can see that we've got the golden pocket right around that area, right around that area. And depending on even how we pull this fib, some would even pull it from right here and say, okay, we've got the golden pocket coming in right on that high volume uh, node right there, okay? And then the second area for me where I would look for a bounce if price comes down here would be this high volume node right here, okay? If we look at all the volume that's traded uh, down in this area here, we can see that we have another high volume node down here. And this high volume node is very, very close to the oversold territory. Because again, remember, we're looking at Bitcoin. We always should be asking ourselves what is considered high and what is considered low, right? Because really, when we're trading, it's all about buying low and selling high. And this is giving us clear areas of, of what is considered high and what is considered low. So, you know, remember the time... You, well, everyone knows this, right? Everyone knows this. If, if you have family uncles friends older men in your life with mustaches right especially with mustaches what would you tell them they're like what are you up to these days jason and you're like well well uh, you know i i quit my job uncle pete and now i'm trading now uncle pete he knows everything about investing he's like oh <laughs> you're old jason you're trading are you let me tell you some advice over here all you gotta do is buy low and sell high. It's so easy, anyone could do it, right? And it's true that, you know, your uncle and your friend and every male relative you have who somehow is an expert in investing when he found out you were trading, they're right. Buy low and sell high. That's, that's literally what we have, what we should be looking to do, right? That's how, again, if we take a look at the trades that I was making in the car, that's how we got the bounce from the golden pocket and the rejection from the naked weekly point of control because we were looking at these areas of considered, you know, oversold and overbought. We're saying, all right, when we're oversold, we should look to long because we're going to buy low. When we're overbought, we should look to short because we're going to sell high. That's what we'll be doing here. So if we come back into the area of fair value, then, you know, ultimately when we come back down to this value area low, right, combination of a high volume node, this is the area where it is now low, where we could look to potentially get into longs, right? So that's kind of like the overall general plan I have for the Bitcoins. And so we've kind of gone over the very local, what's happening locally. <clears throat> we kind of gone over the macro, what's happening macroly. Um, yeah, and uh, you know what? I'm going to actually pop into the chat real quick and just see if anyone's even here. Wow, we have 400 people. Guys, make sure to like the video. Uh, make sure to like the video because... We only have half the people in here liking the video, and if we can get 750 likes, um, you know, I'll be giving away the 0 0.025 Bitcoin. And uh, shout out to Aaron G, changed his YouTube name in here. Um, shout out to Luis Rivera. Um, shout out to the Crypto Bull and Edgar Parra. Shout out to Tom, uh, who, yes, I never trade with real money. Shout out to Dread Mining. Dread mining. I did take a look at, at the at the lower term time frames here. So let's take another quick look at those lower term time frames for dread mining. Dread mining, an OG of the uh, channel over here. Thanks for being here. So so basically on these lower time frames, we do have some volatility. And what has happened is during the past few days, we have um, we've been trading sideways, basically. And what happened earlier this morning, just, just before the stream, is we actually did come up to a naked weekly point of control, and we got a rejection from there. And I did not short it, guys. I was waiting for a little bit higher. Personally, did not take short there. Personally, did not even remember that the level's on my chart. You know, silly Casper. Silly Casper. Didn't short it, guys. Missed out. It's okay, though. I'm short from higher. I'm, I'm in a schlong. I'm in a pretty nice schlong right now. I'm short from up here, and I'm also long <clears throat> from down in this zone right here. I've actually taken two longs, one from down here and one from right here. And these are juicy trade setups given in the VIP Discord, by the way, guys. This long from down here was a pretty juicy setup. Shout out to KPAX with his channels, man. KPAX with his channels. They're, they're always respected to the dang dollar, man. But uh, anyway... 
yeah, so what's happening now is we've rejected from this naked weekly point of control, and we're finding support at this high volume node here at the center point of the range here. And I did take a little scalp from here as well. And I, I took a little scalp long from this point of control and take profit one was hit at a 0.5% move, right? A 0.5% move around 46,550 is the area I was looking to TP one on that scalp. And also that scalp in the potential Bitcoin scalp trade channel was, um, let's see here. Yeah, this one right here, right? When we're looking to take longs, we have our target set high, but we always want to make sure that we are taking partial profits out. And the first area that we look to take profit would be the support resistance flip, right? So when we're looking to take a, a long, the first place we want to take profit will be the first support resistance flip that we have. So we, we clearly see support here. And so obviously we would want to take profit here Understanding that it could just be a lower high and then we reject and come lower. And so that first take profit was hit and my trade, then I move the stop loss to the entry and it gets stopped out. So what that does is it allows for you not to take a loss, right? Potentially even a small win and then move on to the next trade instead of somebody who has the final target set all the way up here. And then they turn a winning trade into a losing trade, right? So, that is how uh, it's best to, well, I shouldn't say it's best. I can't say anything because I'm not a financial advisor. But that's what's happening on the lower term time frames right now, uh, dread mining. We found resistance at a naked point of control and we are finding some support at this, um, at this uh, well, now we're losing support actually. And let's take a look at what's happening here. New York is open. Let's take a look here. what is happening here I'm gonna to go to a lower time frame looks like a lot of people longed and are getting stopped out including me Hmm. Well, you know, here we go again, back uh, back down to the low of the um, of the sideways market. Very interesting stuff, guys. Man, I was hoping we would come up a little bit higher. I had my eyes set on a juicy a juicy short here, but um, I missed my opportunity, and that's okay because there will always be another trade. Um. Aaron G says bearish April. How much does it cost to join join the group? It's forty five dollars a month, Chasby. Um, whiskey trottle that like button to the moon. Yes, fiber splice god. Everybody whiskey trottle the like button to the moon. Yeah, for sure. Uh, shout out to Yaha Tariq. Thanks for being here. Um, Yeah, higher crypto for sure. Clearing of the longs to accumulate more liquidity before lower. Yep, for sure, for sure. Um, I'd be down for an April April dump for a May pump. Um, how many accounts do I operate to hold multiple positions? Right now, I'm primarily trading on three accounts. <clears throat> primarily trading on three accounts. I have a swing trading account on Bybit. And then I have a Femex and a Bybit account. Paper, of course, testnet accounts. Testnet accounts... Um, but then I have the um, a Bybit and Femex accounts, which I, I use to, on each account, I can have longs and shorts at the same time, you know, on each account. So...
Mm, interesting, interesting. So we just filled some single prints here and um, got a slight bounce, but we do have a golden pocket underneath, which um, could be pretty interesting. Could be pretty interesting. Yeah, we do have we do have a bullish divergence on the one minute time frame after coming down, filling those single prints. Um, let's check out the one hour time frame here. Let's check out the twenty four minute time frame. Yeah, potentially, uh, potentially getting some pretty bullish divergences on the twenty four minute. Potentially getting some pretty bullish divs on even the twelve minute. Potentially here. The VWAP is not looking too juicy. Six minute. Eh. Could potentially be given some divs on the six minute. <clears throat> I would love that golden pocket though. I have to be honest. I would love the golden pocket. If we could do something like this. On the golden pocket. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice because um, because the reason why it would be so nice is because the golden pocket lines up super nicely now with that um, that value area low, which is considered over sold. And money flow is coming down. Oof. Okay, so that that momentum wave now has come down more for this new candle. Technically, still a very, very, very slight divergence here. Take check out the six minute. Mm, I don't like that too much on the six minute. Let's check out the one minute. One minute still has potential, I would say. But um, let's check out the four hour, actually. So the four hour is looking quite, quite bearish right now. The four hour is making me think that we can app come down even lower. <clears throat> look at the money flow and look at the momentum on the four hour. Uh, we're about to get a red dot. And then we come down to the three hour and we are actually getting the red dot. Um, trigger wave come down to the two hour red dot trigger wave one hour um, oof getting getting a red dot uh, that uh, just confirmed so you know this 24 minute eh, man things are not looking too too great here but um, if if the lower time frames give us some divergences, like even a one minute uneven butt cheeks could not be bad. Money flow is coming up. Um, yeah. I would I would be looking at this more uh, scalpy, more scalpy, but we do have the divergences forming here, money flow and momentum on these lower time frames. So You want me to short smoking Joe? I'm already I'm already short, <laughs> so I'm not trying to get into a short here. We have an eighty percent setup today. Um, I didn't notice that today. 
Smoke and Joe is always sure. Smoke and Joe is the uh, the financial advisor for the Jason Casper YouTube channel. I don't see a bear div Derek D on the four hour. I do not. Um, what I do see on the four hour is a trigger wave, but I don't see the bearish divergence. And I'm I was waiting for a bearish divergence, but we might not get that. Um, And so, you know, really, I'm I'm not really looking to take a short right here, man. I have to be honest. I don't I don't want a short here because, uh, even though we've got this four hour red dot and I think we can come down lower, I I would rather wait for a better setup. I'm already short from, um, I'm short from here and I'm short from here holding them so. I'm not I don't want to enter a new position here. And I'm long from here. So the only reason I'm entertaining a long here is because we're coming to support. We're coming to support. And so we just have to wait and see what happens. And I'm not looking to take a major, major long here. I'm just saying there's a potential to scalp it. <clears throat> ETH, yes, ETH has the massive four-hour div for sure. Yeah, ETH for sure. Um, Derek D, the March 25th to today, is that a bear div for Bitcoin? Um, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Because in order for it to be a, um, well, I, I mean, I guess you can, you, yeah, I guess you can consider that. Um. Yeah, I guess you could consider it that, man. I guess you're right there. I guess you're right. Uh, I, I I particularly like to not see another bigger wave like this in the middle uh, on, on such high time frames. But yeah, I guess you're right. So that that is interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, I guess if we cut out that one massive wave, this is super, super bearish. Super, super bearish. So, it's just super, super bearish. But, you know, as I already outlined in this stream, regardless of what happens, I'm not trying to enter into a major position right at this second. But, I have plans to get into positions in the future. So I'm not really looking to short unless we lose crucial support and then back test as resistance. That's the only time I will add to my shorts. Um, because right now we have pretty, uh, pretty, we, we have support, like we're at support, right? So I'm not going to short at support. I'll short if we lose support and then get a back test of it, right? Um, but, you know, because I'm already in shorts, I'm not looking to, to do anything with that right at this second. Shout out to Aaron. Peace out, bro. Thanks for being here. And um, yeah, guys, I just realized I have to I have to run. I've got some things going on today um, that I have to take care of. But thank you, everybody, for being in the stream. God bless everybody. And as usual, guys, receive this blessing. This blessing, the purpose of this blessing, is that the creator of the heavens and the earth would place his name upon you and bless you in multiple ways. And it goes like this. In Hebrew, Yevarechacha Adonai ve'yishmarecha Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasemlecha shalom 
Bashem Yeshua HaMashiach Elohei Israel. In English, that means may the Lord bless you, may he protect you, may he cause his light to shine upon you and have grace upon you, and may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you completeness. In the name of Jesus the Messiah, the God of Israel, amen. And um, yes, thank you everybody for being here, and I will see you all in the next stream.